Hey everybody, um, I've been wanting to do this video for a minute, but I decided to wait because I guess what I'm learning is sometimes, especially with, with these celebrity stories, that if you just wait it out a little longer, sometimes these celebrities will actually tell on themselves or things will become a bit more clear or resolved. So I'm just learning that as I go, not to just jump on a story right away just kind of let it play out like I said especially when it comes to celebrities so the video I wanted to do here is about I don't know what it means to be like young and when you're young you make a lot of foolish decisions when it comes to being in love I think I know I can raise my hand and attest to it and the reason why I have Regine's picture here Lil Wayne's daughter is because a lot of people have been questioning, you know, her sanity when it comes to this relationship she's been in for a year. And me personally, I think people have just been rather hard on her. They're being too harsh on her. And even though I have watched, you know, and just shook my head at some of the stuff that I've seen with her and her boyfriend, I get it. And I understand. And I, I hope that people could at least show her a little compassion because like I said, we've all been through it. So just to kind of help you understand what I mean by this is, um, of course, if you don't know, this is Regina Carter. This is little Wayne's daughter. And, you know, we saw her, watched her grow up. If you've watched Lil Wayne for a long time, you know, he always used to bring her to the award shows. Lil Regina was always in the seat next to him with her little bees and barrettes, just clacking, clack, 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 clack as she walked up the stage onto the stage and stuff like that. So we watched this girl grow up from this little tiny girl to like, she's a grown woman now. Okay. Um, we also, some of you probably also saw her on reality shows with her mom, Toya. Uh, she was on growing up hip hop. She was on the, uh, tiny and, uh, TI. And, you know, for the most part, a lot of people look her, look at her as spoiled and entitled. And, she does kind of act like that. But at the end of the day, she's still a young woman growing up in front of everybody. Okay. And she's probably also, she probably is spoiled and entitled. Okay. So about a year ago, she started dating this guy right here. YFN Lucci. Now don't ask me to name no songs of his. I don't know no songs and no Lucci. I don't even really, I don't know what he's saying. I'll rap. I don't know. I, I couldn't see. I ain't going to see here in front. Okay. I don't know him like that. Don't know no songs. I just know that she dating this dude. And uh, when she started dating him, of course, the internet went crazy because now Lucci is, I think he's 28 now. And Regine, I think she's 20 or 21. Okay. I think she turned 21. And so when they was dating, she was about 19, he's 27. And people was like, wait, that's too big of an age gap. That's too much. Okay. But, and he got two kids. Okay. He got two kids by two different baby mamas. So when people saw Regina, they're like, wait, Regina, you could do better than this. But you know, you know how young love can be. All right. So she chose this dude and she'd been going through it with him for the last year. Every Seven to nine business days, they breaking up, they getting back together, they breaking up, they getting back together. She posting different tweets and stuff like that. A couple of weeks ago, he was like uh, drooling all over this girl that was doing the cucumber challenge uh, where this woman was abusing a vegetable, this innocent vegetable. And Regine basically called him a clown. And because he was liking the video, like he, it's like, like he wanted that to be done to him. And so, of course, Regine and him called a quiz for a minute. She was back with him a couple of days later to the point that people are just tired of watching Regine break up with this man and then get back with this man, break up with this man and get back with this man. So I guess they went to a party over last weekend where it was like cucumber challenge. Now, Regine was doing all that talking about how women are like disgracing themselves. They don't have no self-esteem if they do that to, you know, to themselves. But she was spotted at a party with him where these girls were sticking cucumbers in their mouths and everywhere else. Okay. Just abusing these vegetables. I'll be so glad when the hot girl summer is over so that I can go back to the grocery store and feel safe buying a cucumber. 
Okay, I don't even want to touch any right now. So I'll be glad when, you know, it get cold outside and these girls ain't out here acting ratchet. So anyway, when Regine was spotted at this party after saying all this stuff about girls using cucumber, she took the t to Twitter, of course, explain herself. She said, okay, guys, I want to say this. I went to the party to spy on Luch. Females don't act like you ever did it, but when I heard about the cucumber activities, I left. To be honest, I made myself look like a fool for this man, and I apologize for allowing you guys to see it. Okay, then she went on. I'm young and still learning. Unfortunately, every move I make is publicized. I can't control it. I'm going to try to be more private from now on. It's hard because I've always been so open and honest, but I got to learn how to deal with my problems alone and in private. Okay, and then she continues on. I want to tell my supporters that I actually cares about me and not trying to drag me from my mistakes, that I love you guys and it's big things on the way I was loosing myself. But baby, I promise I'm going to find me again. Okay. Now we've heard this from her before. I'm sorry, but we have. No, I didn't have to do this, but I owe it to my true fans because my brand is something that means a lot to me and I'm not trying to mess it up. So I'll be taking a little break. I love you guys. I'm talking to my fans, not you hating hoes. Thanks. Okay. So... Regine did all of that because, like I said, people were dragging her for constantly saying one thing and doing another. She always talking about she's done. She want to be loved. She always posting these cryptic messages that let everybody know that she's tired of Lucci. He didn't disrespect her once again, over and over and over again. And then like a day after, you see her all over Instagram kissing on him. She at the club with him. Now... If you've watched any of the shows with Toya and Regine, Toya has been trying to tell her daughter to just be cautious with this man, that this is not a good relationship for her. This is not a good choice. You know, just trying to tell her daughter. But you know how this goes. Your mother probably told you at some point or another that some boy that you was all had your head all up in his ass was not good for you. I've been there. All right. Now, do I believe Regina this time? No, I don't. I don't. Because this is one of those things where she is just going to get have to get him out of her system. And I think that's hard to do when it's somebody that you just like, I don't know, it's just sometimes people had a hold over you that make you do stupid stuff. They make you look foolish out here. And that's what I'm seeing happen to Regine. Okay. It's just playing out in the public eye and on social media. We got friends like that. I know y'all got friends like that on Facebook. Like I do where it's like every other day she cussing him out. She posting cryptic messages about, she just want to like, she loving herself again. You know, it's about her. She doing me, I'm doing me and blah, 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 blah. You could tell she breaking up with her dude once again. And then a few days later, she posted up on him again. And it's just like, you just be so tired. You just be so sick of it. Like, damn it. Just won't y'all just don't say nothing else because you're going to keep taking the dude back. Well, that's what's happening with Regine. We just seeing it play out publicly. Okay. You could tell this girl, tell this girl, tell this girl, tell this girl. She can, all her fans, all her, the people that, that tweet her, they could tell her over and over and over and over again that this man ain't no good for her. And she probably deep down knows it, but that ain't going to make her stop because all he got to do is say whatever it is that he say to get back. And then next thing you know, she posted up with them again, loving all over him. Now, one of the things I was most concerned about with Regine is I just, for the life of me, it was the, the fact that this man already got two kids by two different women. And I'm sure that, you know, this girl grew up in privilege. She grew up in wealth. And for her to become the third baby mama, I'm sure would be a great disappointment to Toya. Now, Toya was a very young teenage mother when she had Regine. Toya was probably like, what, 14, 15? Toya's like in her early 30s. Like she's in her early 30s, like somewhere up in there. So her and Regine basically grew up together. So she's trying to show and tell Regine like, listen, this is not a good man for you. This isn't the way you shouldn't do this. But what more can she do? What more can she do? We keep seeing this play out over and over and over again with these young girls of privilege. The same thing is happening to um, uh, Floyd Mayweather's daughter, Yaya. Now, Yaya 
I believe, if I'm not mistaken, graduated the same year my son did, 2018. So she graduated from high school, I believe, in 2018. And she started following up behind uh, just a knucklehead rapper, uh, what's his name, uh, NBA Youngboy. Now, if you don't know who NBA Youngboy, I don't have any clips of, of these those two. But NBA Youngboy was beating up on his little girlfriend that he got pregnant. NBA Youngboy is also rumored to have herpes. But here you go with Yaya Mayweather just fawning all over him. She going with him. She's hanging out with him. They dating, you know. And then there's rumors that she got pregnant by him because I did see some pictures of her uh, a few months ago where she her face had gotten really, really fat. Like she looked like she was pregnant. NBA Youngboy was in jail for beating for basically a probation violation where he had been he had been abusing his other girlfriend who had a baby. Now, NBA Youngboy got about four or five kids, okay? So the fact that this man got all these kids and Yaya is running up behind him, I think she, I honestly believe she was pregnant with his child as well. And the fact that this dude, again, has herpes, allegedly. And, and you think to yourself, these girls grew up in wealth. Floyd Mayweather has millions upon millions of dollars. His daughter could do anything she wants to do. She could travel the world for the rest of her life. And she chose to be a fifth baby mama to a rapper that can't stay out of jail. And Regine is choosing to be the girlfriend of a dude that career probably won't go that much longer. And he already got two kids. You know, heaven forbid she get pregnant by this dude. All right. Um, but then I had to think about it and I had to say to myself, okay, you have two girls who are, you know, again, come from wealth, come from privilege. Why do they keep choosing? Why do they choosing these dudes? And then I had to think to myself, they just choosing their fathers. All right. While people out here giving Regine a really hard time about the man that she's dating, this dude right here, who again, older than her, got two different kids with two baby mamas. She's just dating her father. If you think about it. All right. Lil Wayne, as much as I love Lil Wayne as a rapper, I mean, he's a rolling stone. Lil Wayne, he'll have two kids that match. Okay. He got a baby with Nivea. He got a baby with Lauren London. He got a, a, a child by this Asian woman. You know, he got Regine. He said he got kids all over and then he was dating different women constantly. I'm sure Regine saw different women in and out, in and out, in and out of her father's life. So she's just technically dating her father. She's dating what she's used to seeing. Okay. I can't really get upset with Regine or even uh, Yaya Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather's daughter, because they're only dating their fathers. Look at Floyd and how he treats women, how he just treats women. I mean, he attracts women with his money. He has women in and out, in and out, in and out of his life. He has an entourage. He even has Yaya's mother, uh, who he basically takes care of. She has her own business, but that's something that he funded. And she just kind of is on a, a short leash with him because he could probably have her whenever he wants to because of the wealth that he has. Yaya is only dating what she knows, just like Regine is only dating what she knows. So I, that's what I, I can't even get upset with these girls, all the privilege in the world. And they choose to date these men. And you see why they just dating what they know. They just dating their dads. It really is. I don't want to say it's as simple as that, but it is. If you start looking at it in a psych, you know, psychology sort of way, that's what they know. And that's all they know. You know, I'm sure Toya is just wringing her hands, hoping praying that her daughter don't get pregnant by this man and become his third baby mama. You know, like I said, Regine has all the privilege in the world to do whatever it is she wants to do. But we have all been here. And that's why I cannot, I don't drag Regine when it comes to this. I hate to see her with this dude. I really do, you know, but I can't drag her because my goodness, if I, I can remember being a fool for a dude. 
Now, you know, I don't know if this is her first love, but it, it's kind of coming off like this is her first real relationship, okay? Older man, you know, she's in. She's probably enamored with him because he's, I guess, he's a celebrity. But technically, if you ask me, she made him bigger than what he is. Ain't nobody knew no damn Lucci. I know a few people might have known some Lucci up in Atlanta or wherever the hell he's from. I don't know. But when he started dating Regine, his, his celebrity status became bigger, okay? People started really knowing who he is based off of her, okay? It helped his status. So when you look at relationships like the hell, when I was 17, I hate to even, well, I, I can admit it now because it's, it's old news, but when my first little boyfriend, that I, I mean, he was my first love. He took my virginity, uh, I love that man's dirty draws, okay? And I, I mean, him, him and I, we were the same age. But I was so just like, I, I could not see past any of the other. My mom used to tell him, like, you should leave that boy alone. He ain't no good for you. He ain't no good. He had dropped out of high school. He was, I mean, he just was, he was not. Now I can look back on it and say, yes, he was probably not the best choice for me. And luckily, no, nothing came of it. I did not have any children with him or something like that. Um, but I remember I was so in love with this fool. I was the fool, actually. I was so in love that I put his brother's, his brother bought a car and I put his brother's car in my name. Now, when I look back on it, that's like 20, 25, 27 years ago, something like that. It's the most stupidest shit I can remember doing. But I remember because I was, I loved him so much. He was like, uh, can you put my brother, my brother trying to buy this car, but his license all messed up. Can you use your license to get the car? And I did that. And when I tell you, I started getting tickets in the mail because his brother was like parking all kinds of crazy places. The car got towed. I was getting tickets and stuff like that. Thank God that my license didn't get suspended over no foolishness like that. But the fact is, I remember, rem I remember being that stupid. I remember being that dumb in love over a man that I was willing to do really stupid things. And that's why I'm saying, like, I can't even be upset when I see a Regine just kind of being a fool in love. I can't. You know, all we can hope for young girls like this is that they eventually come to their senses before a they mess around and get pregnant by this guy or b he mess around and give her something that she can't get rid of you know uh my hope is that regina will learn her lesson she'll get this man out of her system like i said i think it's harder because the world is watching and she is a she's on social media she's considered you know known a celebrity so to speak you know it's easy to be a celebrity these days you got to just be connected to somebody anyway but the fact that this is playing out in the public i'm sure is even harder okay same with um uh floyd mayweather's daughter yaya i think yaya just had a baby or she is pregnant with this boy's baby and here she again this girl is is a gazillionaire you know by connection of her father could do anything in the world and would choose to be a fifth baby mama to a rapper that, you know, in and out of jail. So you, you just sit here and you think to yourself, how crazy is that? But, you know, you just, let this be a lesson. Be a good, especially for the men, be a good example to your children. Be a good example to your daughters that are watching you. Because eventually little girls grow up to want to date a man like her father. Okay. And you got to think about what kind of man you are because, you know, I don't know how Lil Wayne feel about, um, Lucci dating his daughter, his young daughter, Regine is grown technically, but I have to wonder if he has to stop and think Lil Wayne has to stop and think about, you know, the fact that, of how he treated women and how he's treated women over the years. And maybe this is kind of like his karma, the fact that his daughter is dating somebody that he probably does not approve of, all right? But more than likely, is just like him in a lot of ways. Again, having babies all over the place. Never being in a stable relationship for long, okay? Never. 
And it's sad. It is sad. But I, like I said, I'm just giving her a little rope here and just saying that we have all been stupid before. All right. I don't know if y'all, I, I hope that y'all will drop down in the comments and tell me the most stupidest thing that you have done for your boyfriend, your girlfriend, something that just shows you that we've all been foolish in love before. And like I said, we should just cut this girl some slack. I think people should just cut her some slack here because like I said, now that's the most, the thing that I told y'all about the license and stuff, that is the most foolish thing that I did for him. But I've done even more foolish things. I remember even the same dude, okay? So he eventually, he went off to, he joined the Marine Corps. And he came back. I was in college. He came back. He's like, oh, I love you. You know, let's, let's, you know, we was dating. We was hanging out together. And I kid you not, a few days after he went back to, um, to, uh, the base, he told me he got married and it broke my heart. So I'm just thinking to myself and I, even after him telling him, telling me that he got married, I was still like, oh, but I love you. I love you. I love you. And I still wanted him. So I'm, I'm telling you sometimes Man, you could just be such a fool when it comes to somebody that you love, you know, and until you learn how to really, truly love yourself and see the value within yourself, nobody, and I mean, nobody's going to be able to tell you. So I hope Regine means what she says when she says that she's done, you know, putting her stuff out there and she's, she's learning. I hope that she means it, you know, and I wish her well. Like I said, I'm not going to drag her because we have all been a fool in love, okay? So just let this young lady live and pray to God that she does not make any foolish decisions and make any permanent decisions that will attach her to this man for the rest of her life, okay? Just, that's that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying, just, just cut Lil Nene a little slack, okay? And uh, that's all I wanted to say about that. Like I said, I've been wanting to do this video for a minute, but here we have it. So I'll see you guys on the next video.